And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Moon Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Seth Rogen film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. That's right, the Ninja Turtles are officially back in animated form with the huge voice cast of uh, Seth Rogen, Ice Cube, John Cena, and the list goes on. So... Oh, so Jackie Chan as well is in this movie as well as Master Splinter. And we got a couple new kids as well, which I don't know their names and I apologize, who play our favorite turtles as well. And um, this is basically kind of not an origin story per se. It's more of a, I want to say maybe a little bit of a coming, coming of age story in a way because it shows the Ninja Turtles when you know they're at the point where they you know they want to come out of the shadows they want to explore the world but they live in a in a sheltered world where you know master splinter is a very overprotective father and he wants to protect his boys he wants to make sure they okay you know stay in the sewer do what they can you know learn kung fu and all the good stuff that they know eat pizza when they can and just stay out of trouble because they're teenagers and you know how teenagers are they like to explore things and get into some kind of mischief but well when the turtles finally discover you know above the sewer they discover new york city they meet april o'neill who's a young student herself trying to learn how to become a journalist and things start to go kind of you know chaotic when um a villain known as superfly played by ice um ice cube and um he starts making some trouble and the turtles started to get involved and then they have their whole good guys versus bad guys situation. Okay. So when I first saw the trailer for it, I thought it was like, oh, okay, another Ninja Turtles film. Looks cool. Animation looks very similar to what Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and, and uh, Spider-Man um, Into the Spider-Verse, you know, animation looks like. Kind of that comic book feely style to it. And for the most part, this movie is it's great. I, I really thought this movie was a lot of fun. The animation was beautifully done made and I thought the voice actors were great. Obviously, they were more teenagers than, than how the Ninja Turtles are usually portrayed by. Because, you know, the other, you know, animated versions of them have been, you know, you can hear adult voices trying to be teenagers. But in this one, in this case, you got teenagers playing teenagers. So it, it really worked. So I thought I appreciated that a lot. I thought... That was cool. I love the fact that April O'Neil was trying to be more of a journalist than she usually is. Because, you know, honestly, you know, growing up with Ninja Turtles as I am, I never understood who April O'Neil was trying to be. Yeah, she was a reporter, but she never really felt like she always had to put herself in danger to get into those situations so the Turtles can save her. Unlike in this one where she literally goes into danger knowing that nobody's going to be there for her and then she gets saved. So I kind of like that little transition from them changing April a little bit to be more independent person. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Splinter was great seeing him play by Jackie Chan, obviously. The turtle dynamic, all of them were great with each other. I think Donatello might have been my favorite. Normally, Raphael has always been my favorite. But, you know, obviously this is a kid's film, so they kind of lessen sharp Don, uh, Raphael's attitude a little bit he was more attitude of what a teenage be instead of being the adult attitude turtle that he usually is so i thought that was cool but donatello to me stood out leonardo was cool too he wasn't that exactly the leader that he's supposed to be but obviously this is like i said this is kind of um them coming of age and how do they become the real turtles that we all know and love later on so you know he's not exactly the leader yet he's just their big brother trying to protect his, his younger brothers and you know they you know choose or choose not to follow his lead so I thought that stuff really worked Bebop and Rocksteady was cool you have Seth Rogen playing Bebop and and John Cena playing Rocksteady or vice versa anyway they were all great the villains were great um I thought I like I said I thought it was a really fun film it wasn't my favorite Ninja Turtles adaptation but I still had a fun time with it and um you know I, I, i'm looking to see if they, if they do more if they make another, a sequel to it because there's certain characters that we know from the mythology of ninja turtles 
that are not in this film that could show up in future projects if they decide to make more. So I'm looking forward to see how the Turtles will handle that situation. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I thought Ice Cube was a great villain playing this like this super duper evil mutated fly. He was cool. Um, so that all worked out. April was cool. Splinter was great. The turtles all worked together. The action scenes were great too. A lot of funny moments in here as well. It all came together for, for what it was. And I had a good time with it. And if you're a Ninja Turtles fan and you want to check this out, check it out. Because it honestly, it, it, it adds something new and fresh to the turtle mythology that we all know and love. And, it, you know, it's a good time. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem, did you guys like it, not like it? Ninja Turtles fans, not Ninja Turtles fans. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mine, personally, has always been Raphael. But um, after this movie, Donatello has become that Ninja Turtle that I'm starting to really like a little bit more than I usually do. But um, yeah, so a lot of fun. So go check it out if you can. And uh, if you didn't like it, that's cool too. Leave me a comment below, let me know. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.